I have an addiction, a smart suitcase addiction. Cool. Now it all began when Away announced their first smart suitcase a couple of years ago. Had to have it. But then Horizon Studios asked me if I wanted to test their new smart carry-on. Of course. Then I went traveling for three months last year and couldn't possibly fit that all-in-one carry-on. I need a bigger suitcase. Well, the large by the way was big enough. The large is great, but you're not going to need a suitcase this big when you go away for a little bit over a week, maybe two. You need a medium-sized suitcase. So I just received this medium-sized suitcase by Horizon Studios. So let's go one step back and do a little unboxing before we do a comparison between Away versus Horizon Studios. Okay, let's open it. Take a work and look at it later. Like this. <laughs> there we go. So here's the suitcase. It comes with this dust bag for if you want to store it when you're traveling, but does anyone ever use this? I don't. So there are a couple of things I really like about the suitcase. It's lightweight. This is a 65 liter suitcase and only weighs 3.9 kilograms. Another thing are the wheels. It has 360 degree spinner wheels, which will help you glide through the airport. It has a TSA approved lock. And this makes the suitcase smart after all. It has a removable smart charger with two USBs. Um, and it's very easy to remove, as you can see, which is good because when you check in the bag, um, you're not allowed to carry these batteries inside your suitcase, so you have to remove it. Um, but I still love them because now I can just use it on my way to and from the airport, and I just put it in my bag um, when I'm at my destination, and I need an extra battery for my phone. Okay, let's open it. So on the inside, it has these two compartments to organize your things. Um, and the idea is that you use this side to, for your clothes or anything that's soft. Um, so you put it in here and then you um, pull these, um, to pull this down and it compresses your clothes so you have more space in your suitcase. Um, and then you can use this because it has a zipper here. You can put other things in here that you don't want to get wrinkled or anything. So maybe some other clothes, or maybe a magazine, or documents, or stuff like that. I'm sure what's in here. Oh, let's see. This is also something that you need. Cable to charge your USB battery thing. And a luggage tag. In here. So this is for your clothes, and then this, the other side. I'd like to put the other things, so like shoes, toiletries, electronics, um, and it will stay into place here. Um, and what I like about the rice suitcase is that it comes with a laundry bag. So you stay super organized when you're traveling. Now let's do a little comparison so you know which one to get. And let's start with the carry-ons. The Away was my first smart suitcase. Uh, I just love the way it looks and the fact that you can just charge your devices several times as you're traveling. Um, so this is a great suitcase. Now what's important to mention is that I got the suitcase in 2016 and in this version you can't remove the battery. Well, you can technically, but you would require, you would need a screwdriver. Um, that's not a problem anymore today. So if you buy this suitcase today, you can just as easily remove the battery as you can with this one. And that's why in my situation, I now prefer my Horizon Studios carry-on um, because I can easily remove the battery. Um, but yeah, that's because I have the old 2016 version um, and as I said, it wouldn't be an issue today. Another reason why I prefer the Horizon Studios one over the Away is that the handle on the Rise of Studios one just feels a bit more sturdier than the Away one. I've never had any issues with this one, I have to say, um, but just, I don't know, it just feels better, this one, than this one. Now, 
in terms of dimensions, they're about the same size. So as you can tell, they're about the same height. This one is slightly wider, this one is slightly deeper. As this one, the Away could fit 38.9 liters, whereas the Horizon Studios one would fit 33 liters. So even though they look the same, according to the information on the website, you should be able to fit a little bit more in the Away things than the Horizon Studios one. The thing that I really love about my Horizon Studios one is this, the front pocket. It just makes it so easy to carry your laptop um, when you're traveling, uh, if you go to, through security, you can just easily uh, get it. If you want to work on the road, you can just easily get it without having to open your entire suitcase. So for me, this was the big game changer compared to this one. You just easy to fit it in like this. Now this is also where the two brands are becoming more alike. Um, recently, Away has also now introduced a version with a front pocket. It's a bigger model, so it's technically a carry-on, but you may not be able to bring it with you on all airlines. And I've got the Model N from Horizon Studios with a front pocket, as I said, um, but they also have a Model H, which looks more like this one. So, so which one is better? It's really hard to say. I personally travel more with my Horizon Studios one, um, which is because of the front pocket and the fact that I can remove my battery here, charger which I can't hear but if you buy either one today uh, the features are so similar so it comes more down to brand preference um, which design do you like better but um, you can't go wrong with either one of those. Okay moving on to the check-in bags. Now I have the medium size suitcase by check-in bag by Horizon Studios which is the only check-in model they have uh, and I have the large by Away but Away also has a model in this size. So I have the two Horizon Studios models here, the carry-on and the chicken bag, and basically the only difference is that, uh, in addition to the size of course, that this one has the front pocket, otherwise they're, uh, they're exactly the same. So the difference between the Oasis cases is that this one has the battery and this one doesn't. Um, so you can charge your phones and devices with this one and you can't with this one. Um, which I actually thought would always make sense because if you check in this bag. Um, you're not allowed to check in suitcases that have those removable batteries or batteries in general. Um, so why doesn't it, why would you want a battery in a suitcase? But it actually does make sense for when you're traveling to and from the airport. Uh, the fact that you can take it out, so you can just put it in your pocket when you're uh, well wandering around wherever you are. Um, so actually, yeah, I kind of miss it in this one. So this very big suitcase has been my partner on the road for three months when I was traveling last year to, um, to Japan and to Indonesia and Australia and New Zealand, um, Malaysia and Singapore. So I guess we can say it's been properly tested. So what I like about the suitcase is that even though it's a very big suitcase, it still looks very nice. Um, and it still does after having been checked in, in at so many airports all around the world. Um, it still looks good. Um, the wheels still work perfectly, which just shows that, like they're promising, the wheels are a very high quality. And it's not heavy, like, of course, because you can fit in so much, it will be heavy if you put your entire wardrobe in it, uh, but um, in itself, it's not very heavy, which definitely helps. Now, the inside looks the same as the carry-on, um, with the compression pad and the compartment just to store the more heavy things. Um, it just makes it very easy to organize your things on the road, especially if you bring so much that you need a bigger suitcase. Um, and like the other ones, it has this um, laundry bag that you can just remove. But I do have to be honest, and there is one thing about the suitcase that sometimes makes me a little bit uh, nervous, um, and that is that the shell is uh, of a sort of flexible material, which they do on purpose so to make sure that it never breaks. And as you can see, it never breaks. Um, but as a result, or maybe I don't know because of that, but what happens is that um, sometimes I would collect my bag from the um, from my suitcase from the luggage belt and because of some way how they handle it during transport, these would be like full like that. Um, and it would always just jump right back if once I got it and as you can tell it's 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 still looking great. Um, I think I personally just would be more comfortable if it would just stay in its place. Now, unfortunately, since I haven't been traveling with the Horizon Studios check-in bag yet, I can't say if this does the same as I just described with this one. Um, 
it looks a bit more firm, but it could happen with this one as well. It's just too soon to tell. Uh, so just be, be aware of that. So which one is better? Again, I do prefer the Ryzen Studios one um, simply because of the removable battery. Um, it's not the most important thing in the world, um, but I just it does make it a smart suitcase uh, in terms of technology and without this, this it's not so smart after all. Um, but I'll definitely continue using both uh, depending on the type of trip I'm, I'm taking. Um, yeah, they're both really good, good suitcases. That's, uh, that's just how it is. So if you like having a set, it makes sense to go with the same brand as the, as the carry-on. Um, so maybe decide that first, um, but you can't go wrong with either one of those. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you want to see more videos, then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.